Hello. Thank you for joining in, Ellie. I wanted to, you know, pass a message before my my guest um, join us live. So, if you joined, um, I mean, if you're listening and then you are part of my mailing list, I've been sharing that link on Facebook for people to join my mailing list. I have a gift for people on Christmas Day. And that's going to be posted soon. So look out for the post. You know, that's why I started this session early to pass that information to those who um, joined my mailing list. So I have Christmas gifts for you. Um, if you've not joined my mailing list, please click the link in, you know, my, my Instagram bio. And then it's going to take you to like different links. You would see join my mailing list. So join my mailing list for you to be able to get the gift right so it's my own way of saying thank you to everybody giving for the festive season because i've you know enjoyed the support of a lot of you so i just want to give back but of course i want to give back in a way that i'll feel closer to everybody right it's not just random giving so when you're on my mailing list you get a lot of information they make a wish list. I'll be sending names of those who need support to donors in 2023. So there's a lot of changes coming in 2023, good ones, empowerment programs. So please, please, once again, join the mailing list so that when people start posting their gifts online, you know, say, ah, but I didn't hear oh, that there's a gift. There is a gift, right? I'm giving out some Christmas gifts for those who join my mailing list. So um thank you Lushe deborah for joining thank you everybody um yeah thank you so much so click the link in my bio to join the mailing list and get the gifts for christmas <laughs> right so thank you so much um my guess is going to be on in six minutes and um you know i just thought that i should do this and just pass this information before you know we host our amazing guest for today so if you join for my last um um facebook post right um the thing is you know we want to see you join to the end of the program meaning you know we want you to be live to the end of the program it's a you know vital um session this is probably my last live um, interview session for the year and um I want to make sure that people get this information that Shola is about to pass today. A lot of us think that, you know, building wealth has to do with you having money first. The truth is you might have something around you that you're not focusing on and you need to capitalize on that. How do you join my mailing list? Either you go on my Facebook and you see one of the posts where I, you know, shared my mailing list or Check the link in my bio on Instagram right now. If you click that link, it's a link tree. It is going to show you a list of, you know, different platforms where you can connect with me. So click on join mailing list, then put your email address in that, right? So, um, yeah, and you might be the lucky winner that would get the gift. So like I said, it's my own way of giving back to those who have supported me. Because if you're a loyal fan, believe me, you will see that email when it hits your inbox so check it out yeah my um PA is in the comment section right now Olua Toby, so she's passing on the information kindly click the link in the bio to join the mailing list very very important don't forget to also subscribe to my youtube channel at esther ijewere4 um follow me on twitter at esther ijewere follow me on instagram follow my pages at women of rubies ng um i mean just be a part of the family that's what i'm looking at in 2023 so it's no more random giveaways now i want to feel closer to people i want those who keep it on dread right people will join the session people will truly need support but have shown commitment to us yes don't be just pass the information for you to uh, yeah enter for the giveaway click the link in the bio you have to be part of you know those on the mailing list for you to be able to win the christmas gifts that we have for you so amazing other than that i hope everybody is fine um if there's any other information about me toby will be passing it as the session you know proceed 
Um, it's a very, I came here today to learn, believe me, the whole of money. <laughs> this money, I want to have it in 2023. Yeah, Jomi Foods, thank you for joining the mailing list. Yes, yes. So let's join. Um, next year, it's all about loyalty for me, right? It's not about the number of people who are following me. It's about the people who keep it 100, the people who are part of my activities online, the people who pay attention to the things that we share, right? Engage, you know, so let's give back to them. And those are my people, you know, who would get the, the gift for Christmas. And of course, there's, you know, also give away a moment of rubies, NG, um, the team, they have their own thing going. So, but I don't know <laughs> how they're going to plan that. So, yeah, the session is how to build generational wealth. Yes, that's the topic for today. In two minutes, we are going live with Shola Kimpelu. I am also going to be asking people questions from the session. Um, Nugget, what she learned. So there's also a gift for that. So believe me, it's a session to learn. And, you know, you just take something home from this for 2023. This morning that they are sharing, <laughs> that they talk about, we must have it. <laughs> if you have any questions please send a dm to toby uh hi this the ulu at tob at hi send your questions to her um in the dm i might not be able to respond to everybody but toby will be available to you if you want me to come live on your session if you want to invite me for any speaking engagements please contact toby i will be sharing our details live on facebook today as well um on facebook rather yeah, i'm not able to go live on facebook yet <laughs> <laughs> because Mark and his people, I don't know. Maybe our tests run after the live session with Shola to see if they have released me from not being able to join live session on Facebook. So, yes, I look forward to you know seeing you all next year. We have a lot of things planned for next year. Believe me, amazing things, and I cannot wait for my loyal followers to benefit from it. I cannot wait for people who keep it on dread. <laughs> to benefit from it right so yep session is about to start i hope you all have um i mean it's not the end of the week yet um still wednesday i hope the week has been kind to you and i hope that um you're eating well <laughs> yes thank you so much for joining heli Thank you, Toby, for the amazing work you're doing in the comment section. I appreciate that. Um, yes, our guest is here. Our guest is here. Let me... For those sending me... Um, send you an invite, Shola. Hopefully, you're able to, to join. Sorry about the noise outside if you can hear the noise. Hi, Shola. I hope your network. Can you see me? Can you hear me? I cannot see you. <laughs> I cannot see you. Yeah. It is well, you can hear me. Then. I I can hear you, but we cannot see you. Okay, let me. Yeah, you can um, log out and then log back in. It could be like a network glitch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me try that. So, hello, precious. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. I was just telling folks before you guys came on that um you know i've got a gift for folks for christmas so 
click the link in my bio to join my mailing list to benefit from the Christmas gift that I'm going to be sending out to folks. So um, let's see. Shola is here again. Here we go. So, yeah. I think, uh, uh, yeah. I should. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Finally. Listen, uh, before we even go into the session, let me tell you something. You, you share your birthday is February 16th. Yeah. And that is the birthday of somebody that, in fact, let me just leave that. But then through you, let me just say, I've been able to, to see the person in good light. Because I'm like, oh nah, God. Aquarius people are not like that. Like, my best friend is Aquarius. My first daughter is Aquarius. So I'm like, okay, no, don't judge nobody. Yeah. I just want to say every day, every time. I'm going to say that person has to be sweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> so every time you celebrate your birthday, and I'm like, okay, here we go, February 16th. Okay, okay, okay. She's, she's a different breed. She's, she's not bad people, you know, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just to put that out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know Sholakwe, Sholakwe is a powerhouse. This woman, believe me, is the least of top women in Nigeria who are truly making a difference. People who want folks in their circle to win. It is Sholakwe. You don't need to be close to this woman before she supports you. And I'm not okay. saying this because she's like, yeah, you know me, I don't, I'm not saying. <laughs> So, she is good people. She keeps it under with everybody around her. Sholakwe is going to check up on you. You admire something on Sholakwe online. She's in your inbox asking you, like, yo, can I send it to you? <laughs> yo, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to admire nothing on her again because anytime she posts something and it's good, I'm like, I'm fine. I think she is good. Though. Next time, Sholakwe is in my inbox, like, oh, yeah, Esther, let me send it to you. Right? So, that is who she is. But beyond that, She's a woman who, you know, has achieved so much, yet very humble. And those are my people. Women who truly, truly, truly make the sisterhood beautiful. So it's not about those in their circle. They do the work because they are committed to the work. And they're not doing it for likes and, you know, comments. And she's focused like that. <laughs> so just to get into the station, how are you today, Shola? I'm great. Um... So, so many firsts for me, and you find it strange. This is my, okay, you know, it isn't my first IG. And I remember I had one, an IG live with Benga Totoyi some years back. Um, but this is about maybe my first IG this year or so, IG live. I really, you know, I, I prefer typing. I prefer, you know, writing. Um, so I feel so honored, right, to be here in your I'm space. Cool. Thank you for the I'm amazing work you do. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, yeah. I'm honored to have you and thank you so much. Um, the first person that also, you know, came when I started IG, like, you know, I used to be on Twitter, right? Before I moved yeah. here. And yes. I remember I invited you then on Twitter. But then I think yes. you're pretty much busy. Yeah. yeah. So the first person that came on IG, like Chris Wuwe, was his first to um, with someone else in life. And that was the encouragement that I needed because I'm like, okay, if this thing does not work today like this, I'm, <laughs> I'm going back to Twitter. <laughs> You know, but then it was a beautiful session. So thank you so much, Sholakwe. Um, for those pleasure. who don't know Sholakwe, Shola is the CEO of Harvest. You might want to follow them. H-E-R-V-E-S-T-N-G. It's a fintech, pioneering inclusive finance for African women through goal-oriented savings impact. Um, investing and credit for small, older women farmers and women owned and SMEs. I, uh, Women of Ruby's partner with um, Shalakbo's organization, I think it was 2021, and it was a beautiful one because a lot of our women were interested. They actually downloaded the app, so there's an app for Harvest. You want to go on Play Store to download that as well, H-E-R-V-E-S-T. They give loans to farmers, so if you have an amazing initiative and you want them to support you or give light to it, you know, that's Shalakbo for you. Uh, Shalakbo is also the country manager for women in tech. And believe me, you know, I told you, this man is a powerhouse. You see all these people that always have Ombu online. <laughs> right? And I remember when she started out and we had that conversation in box. I'm so happy to see the growth. 
um, of the platform and you know she's doing amazingly well and she's the latest also in town which is why we're here mm -hmm. and believe me please take your flowers sister for you <laughs> to have navigated all of this and still have the time to share from your wealth of knowledge with us it is powerful so thank you so much guys Sholakbe is the also the topic of the day is actually the title of the book right and our african women's guide to building generation that's it and it's a wise investment seven five believe me seven five you commit it to 2023 you're going to learn a lot i am going to gift a couple of people in my own circle that book and i'm also going to have a live debate on facebook to have folks what they learn from the book and how they're going to use it as well so please go on Sholakwe's, um, you know, platform, follow her, follow her activities to know more about Sholakwe. So as you can see, when you're introducing big people, <laughs> you've got to be detailed. <laughs> so I hope you guys speak the information. All right, Shola, so my first question to you is, what inspired you to start Avest? I have never asked you before. What was the inspiration? Yeah, yeah. thank you so much, Esther. Um, again, um, I think if, we, if they leave us to ourselves, we go on talking about the amazing work that we do. I see the, the backstage work that you do. And to me, it's, um, it's, it's, it's quite altruistic, right, to stay at the backstage and keep spotlighting women and keep um, lifting up women that you know that they might not even be able to repay you, you know, in a similar way. But mm -hmm. uplifting them, it's, 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 it's uh, just before we got to this conversation, for instance, mm -hmm. something happened and i'm going to the question and um because i'm on board of a particular i'm some, on some few boards and a particular you know not for profit it's a business network and we were discussing um our conversations for the incoming year and um you know i realized that there was nothing for march and i said hey guys march is women history month they've got to have conversations and you know you know, my friends, the people in the section, like, well, you've come again, and we're getting tired of this equality conversation and all of that. And I mentioned, and I said, yes, I understand. And I, you know, acknowledge that there's a whole lot of pink washing going out there, just the way you have brainwashing in eco and climate. Um, but that's the truth is that there are real issues um, mm -hmm. and there are genuine people, mm -hmm. you know, um, solving for those problems. And... Um, so let's just rewind to some two years back. I was head of marketing at this, you know, at a top investment firm, to be precise, Meristem. If you talk about wealth and asset management, investment conglomerate in Nigeria, Meristem is top five, oh. right? And, you know, it was a cozy job in a cozy office. <laughs> and um, what led to that, I had studied communications twice, my first and second degree, I started my career as a copywriter, actually, at an advertising agency, did two agencies um, where I cut my teeth in marketing, financial brands, and all the integrated marketing comps things, PR, advertising, traditional, digital, you know, name it. Then we're calling digital new media. It's no longer new media now, <laughs> right? It's about the mainstream media itself. Yeah. So, um, and so I, I loved it. I still do. Um, but while at it, I realized that there was a bigger problem while I was handling financial branding, and it was the difference in, um, you know, it was, it, was, it was financial inclusion was a gendered issue. So when you talk about financial inclusion, so today, um, there was still an interview I did earlier today, and the, the question was, hey, um, the Apex Bank recorded 65% increase in financial inclusion this year, and they are targeting 95%, you know, in mm -hmm. the coming year. Um, and I said, okay, can we break down the numbers? 65%, let's look at the proportion of male to female. And at every point, I don't even get surprised again, if you look at, you know, the, the inequality, the, the, the lopsidedness exactly. So I'll tell you one thing, right? Why start harvest? And then maybe why even focused on small male farmers, for instance. Now we started, it was cool to be, you know, another thing.
Fine tech for women, right? I mean, that in itself is a bold thing because, like I tell people, I said, like I tell the team, my marketing team, I said, for every download, for every sign up that we get on Harvest, you know, we have lost about three, like three likely or four likely downloads or community members or users as we speak, right? Because, hey, some men will look at it and I'll be like, this isn't for me. I said, but it is important that we, 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 we so it is, it is it's in, in itself. And that's why we say we're a social enterprise because we are deploying almost everything that every other fintech or every other financial service platform is deploying. Mm -hmm. And then we are still niching. It is critical for us to niche. And so as I was saying, you know, it was while I was there that I realized the, you know, the lopsidedness. And I said, okay, let me start digging. And I kept reading on tons of white papers, research papers that had been done by a FINA. They are doing, they are doing loads of research work in Nigeria, trust me, right? I know that the data is not as robust, but if you really want to dig, you see. And I saw all of that and I felt like, ah, so we have this much, these statistics are this sordid. And then some people just pile it and say, you know, job well done. And so I decided to say, you know, if no one will tackle this, there are reasons. In short, I read some of the reasons, and it is because it is not really, really economically viable, uh -huh. you know, for those organizations. Uh -huh. And even the financial, mainstream financial institutions, the FSPs, like we call them, you know, financial service providers, that is the traditional banks, insurance companies, that do have gender desk, we're mostly doing it, you know, um, you know, maybe at the prompt of the Apex Bank or, you know, yeah, it would be nice to do this. But for a lot of them, I've spoken to a lot of people on those desks. It's not um, because, again, at the end of the day, it's about the P and L, mm -hmm. right? So and that's why we need custom solutions and innovative financing, which Harvest is. And that was how Harvest became. Um, yeah, so I think that's, you know, knowledge sort of prepared us, prepared the team. There wasn't going to be an easy ride, but this time it was a tougher ride than we anticipated. I, I, I can tell you. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's it. I can imagine. Um, speaking of a tougher ride, Kemi Ogunkoya was live on my show the other day, and she shared with me how she created, uh, you know, um, Leadership X Hub. And she, she, she explained to me, like, I start listen, when you're building something in Nigeria, <laughs> you don't just need patience, you need extra, because this hub guys, this tech guys they are ready to walk away and yeah. it's literally you begging them you yeah. know to just please make your work you know come out right so i salute you for that and thank you so much you know for creating such an amazing platform so how has it been since you started Avers in terms of the reception impact yes yeah, so so what um we clearly have two sides to that coin mm -hmm. so you have people who are like yes Finally, yes, they get me. Mm -hmm. And then you have people who just, you know, turn up their brain and say, what's going on here? Right? Like, why, why, <laughs> why? You tell me why. <laughs> and you realize that this, um, it affects, of course, some acquisition like I, I, I described initially. Mm -hmm. um, startups generally have to fundraise because you are focused on hyper growth. So mm -hmm. you are expanding at a, you know, at, at a speed that mm -hmm. is not typical, you know, for a business your size, mm -hmm. right? Um, mm -hmm. And so you're constantly seeking external funding. Mm -hmm. And so you now realize that that now niches you further down and makes mm -hmm. funders you know, even a tougher, a tougher journey. Um, a lot of people can relate if you're a fintech, if you are, you know, commerce, if you are a health tech, but then you're a fintech, then you are for female. Ah, come on, right? <laughs> you know, it's like a double whammy. Um, it doesn't help. And I, I mentioned some of this in my book. It doesn't help that um, there are fewer than, um, I think, think five percent of female led female founded vcs globally that, and these are the people that call the checks and of course in talking about biases there's implicit bias there's a way you like this is a female i just want to support but mm. then if you have that in a smaller representation there's a way it impacts you know even the fewer female founders that you have in the basket mm -hmm. um recently i was speaking with a female founder friend I had, I had said this at some interviews that I know that at times when I'm talking to some of these female guys, male guys that caught the check, that they're just probably looking at you. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Does she have a bandage? She might, she not might. 
who is this person of brand? If she's married, I thought she's not married. Won't she go and consider? I'm, like I, I tried to just read what's going on on their minds. Mm -hmm. And my female family friend told me, oh, at Ashulaka, I was at a particular meeting. It was at 8 p.m. And one of the guys looked at me and said, hello, are you married? I said, yes. I said, so who is taking care of your children and, and your husband at this time? Why are you at this meeting? Yes. All right. So I, 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 I <laughs> Yes, I have that look. She she told me that that happened to her. And this is a woman that had now gone on to successfully raise over 2 million USD to power her business. And it is a huge business solving for, you know, tackling a huge challenge in Nigeria. Um, so, yes, I think, uh, and then, like I said, you know, we've got that part that totally gets us. And that's why I always say that the ones that get you, they get you. So you just got to find your crowd and don't take all of these things personal in terms of, um, um, you know, um, what, what's the word now in terms of maybe users or founders or people who just believe in whatever you're building. As long as you are concerned, you ask me, would I do this, you know, without being paid a couple, without being paid a cent? Absolutely, I will, <laughs> right? Because if I wasn't doing this, I'd probably be one of the best CMOs in Nigeria in Africa today, right? Okay. Like, <laughs> I would be, okay? So um, um, so that's it, it been challenging. But yes, again, for the people who get us, who truly, truly do get us, okay. um, it's been beautiful. I tell people that, for instance, on Harvest, the lifetime value of our community members is quite, you know, good, right? They would, you know, there's the brand love, right they connect when the glitch, when glitches happen when they will make excuses for us they'll reach out to us the impact investment side is one that a lot of you know um our community members are attached to um when they support these women who are in rural areas um before now we've really focused on women in rural areas who are usually agrarian and that's why we found small the female farmers we were not extending it because we've got this infrastructure to power more mm -hmm. women and of course more women need access to credit and financial mm -hmm. services so we're not mm -hmm. extending to women owned um, smes which would majorly roll out in january 2023 um mm -hmm. so you see then people fund these women um, because we're a registered cooperative, they found these women and then they go on with prayers with for them in the email, you know, to bless them, to oh, wish them. Oh. It's it's amazing. It's so beautiful to see. And, you know, that peer-to-peer -peer, um, women lifting participations for each mm -hmm. other, it's, it's, it's really gratifying. Amazing. Um, thank you for sharing that. And I think the part that caught my attention is a question. I mean, can you beat that? A woman is trying to thrive and the whole gender thing is popping up. And you wonder like, okay, how are we supposed to win, right? You, they want you to win at home. You're not supposed to be a full housewife. Then you step out to do the work and you're questioned again for stepping out. You, like you said, just focus on your focus and, your, and the right crowd is going to find you. Absolutely. So how have you been able to navigate the challenges, you know, that comes from being a fintech um, founder, how have you been able to, you know, just navigate everything to yeah. still be here to date? You know, what, and this is what I tell people. So I'll just go back to the conversation we're having before um, um, this, when my friend mm -hmm. said on the board session, like, what exactly, we need to isolate these issues. Women in three months, I'm tired. Um, like, and, I, and, and she said something which is profound that she said it in Yoruba. She said, like, actually, a lot of people need to tepa moshe. And I said, I totally agree. <laughs> and so to answer your question, um, when you know that, that the playing field is not leveled, mm -hmm. right, you won't see people who sit at boardrooms and say, yes, 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 we need to give women more representation and all of that. And truly in their heart of hearts, they do not even mean it. And in some cases, it doesn't matter if those are men or if those are women. Uh -huh. Some people don't just get it. Some people do not understand. And what I say is that these things, they are not gender conversations. They are economic imperative. Because uh -huh. when you have half of, of humanity with an acute case here, where you have half uh -huh. the women who are not being given opportunities, and you have maybe some other half of those women even feeling that why exactly are you even saying that we should, there should be access to these opportunities? What exactly is going on? Right. Mm -hmm. um, um, in other cases, where other countries are even hopping on one leg because you have just have you probably have another just sitting on their butts, right? Because a lot of people still they are pulling even the other half. You know, do you get that analogy? Mm -hmm. um, but what I say to people is that value will always get valued. 
and so value. In short, we always have that session at um, Harvest every February. We're having the next one this February, and it's Value Up series. So we start the new year. We know what the problems are. We know what the challenges are. What are you going to do differently? Come Value Up. Mm. And that has helped tremendously. It mm. has helped the brand. The brand is always, you know, we, we are giving off, you know, value. Um, as Shola Pea Kepelu, I am constantly leveling up, right? Mm. Um, so there's no way that I'll enter a room and my heads wouldn't be up and the conversations would be over my head, right? So I think that has tremendously helped. Mm -hmm. um, and again, I have to put this out there. Esther and I attended a school that's probably got the label that when you hear, you roll your eyes. Mm. And so, oh, yeah. you know, I can't. <laughs> so I do not believe in all of those labels, right? Um, yeah. No, no self-limiting biases. And again, so these are the conversations, regardless okay. of where it is, um, you're working somewhere, and this is you know, gravitating into wealth now, you're working somewhere, you feel cheated, imagine I'm not being promoted, I'm not being so, 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 so. I, mm -hmm. I, I always said that promotion doesn't have to be in the same organization. You can promote yourself, right? Value up, look elsewhere. I've seen people who, who you know, decided to, you know, um, go somewhere and then they come back to renegotiations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. so you've just you've absolutely got to all. Oh, there's a particular business, a lot of business. But I tell them, oh, I made say, a sale of. Imagine I made sales of uh, five hundred thousand in a month. Wow, whooping sales! What is your margin in those sales? Have you calculated your costs? Do you understand? Mm. You know, mm. so there are things, there are, there are just some. There are many many basics that goes over. You know, our mm. heads in in um in so many cases, and it impedes our abilities you know okay. to grow wealth even networking yeah right yeah, even networking. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm i'm putting this out to women especially who are on this conversation mm -hmm. how many how so i'll tell you this before harvest mm -hmm. i mean a lot of people around me they know this i've got a very tight circle mm. you know i probably have but of course service had made me i'm not usually you know i'm i, I, I was a couch potato i'll just be there cozy up family you know i still do all of that i'll give anything for that when i was going to start harvest i remember and i always say this i saw a particular event it's women will on on instagram i did not know the organizers it was a women event i knew i was going to start harvest and i went to that event and i met an amazing lady who called her this we are great friends till tomorrow and i told her about it oh you know and then she supported me she you know she engaged me she encouraged me and all of that and i kept talking to people you know networking networking not in a transactional way but the truth is and i say this to people some people say they say we should network then you go somewhere you see someone you you download everything you just load upon them emotionally everything you know they are going around with their own challenges too so you've got to even network with a lot of emotional intelligence mm. as well mm. always ask what can i do for you how can i help as well i always tell people we <laughs> this right so when you see the boys most of these things they do not they i think it, maybe it's inbuilt or something guy alpha alpha you know they they, they have that bro code they're mm -hmm. always there for each mm -hmm. other how can i help you how can i help you but you see another woman expecting that the other woman especially if you've got nice makeup on or you've got this weave they believe that you are miles ahead of them and then you know you've just naturally picked them up nobody yep. wants to do that, that isn't it working? That is yep. that is bad behavior, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, so it's yep. what it is, I, right? I totally agree. I yeah. Totally so you know, agree. talking about that because when we talk about different types of wealth, um, we talk about capital, you know, um, uh, different types of capital. We talk about financial capital and all of that. And I'm always saying that me, right? Mm -hmm. I have realized, like you were to say, pay in your last year, right? That people. Because most of the time, you are just one person away from all of that, all of 
everything that you need to change mm-hmm. your story, to achieve mm-hmm. your goals, to mm-hmm. impact, to scale, mm-hmm. to do all that mm-hmm. you require mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. So when I see people, you know, mash up relationships and do all of that, especially quality relationships mm-hmm. where you could have displayed tact, I'm like, well, oh, you just mm-hmm. threw, like you just threw a, a, a lot of money and just threw it into the ocean, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, mm-hmm. I think I've been talking for too long now. No, you're not. Uh, we're learning. We came here to learn. That's what I told everybody. <laughs> but I also today, and this is my major last um, life interview, um, yeah. you know, for the year. So yeah. I came here relaxed and prepared to learn. Just my take out from everything you've said, and apart from, you know, Valley would always, you know, you know, get Valley and Valley hop. It's yeah. the part about the emotional intelligence when they're talking. Yeah. And a few weeks ago, I was at an event here in Canada, and it was an award event, right? Okay. And I'd not seen a lot of people in many years. Yeah. And I went into that because, listen, I came to have fun. I didn't come to baggage anybody's problem. Exactly. <laughs> if you're coming to me to talk about feature or interview, I might not listen because there is music on the background, there is food, there is fun, <laughs> right? But then if you are coming to me with, say, can we connect later? Um, yeah, can exactly. I have your email address? I'd like for us to connect. I think people need to also understand the right words of conversations. Yeah. And for me, a conversation, perhaps because I you know, took a certification in interpersonal communication, uh, there's something about conversation starters for me. Mm. If you come off as somebody who does not have human empathy, I hand that conversation right there and there. If you come off as, like you said, somebody who just wants to take and not give, look at you. And let me say this, you know, because there are a couple of people online and young women. So Lakwe has supported me in a lot of ways. And sorry, I have to say this. Oftentimes we don't share the things people do for us. For every time I have a project, she does not have to do it. She would, Esther, I'm going to support, right? She would send funds. She would, Esther would support. Esther this, Esther that. Now, when people saw me, you know, carrying a matter on my head, I'm like, I'm like, listen, you guys don't understand what investment in friendship means. It is not the people you sit down and eat with all the time. It is not the people you text every time and call. There are friendships that you should hold. They are, inner, they are not your inner, inner circle like that, mm-hmm. but there are people that you know that you cannot bond bridges with because yeah. they hold something potential. You both value each other. You know what you're bringing to the table. But in same vein, there is that space of mutual respect. So mm-hmm. I am, from what Shola has said, I'm also just echoing her thoughts. Young girls, when you go for events, I meet women like Shola, uh, like, you know, sis Bumi, and all these big women out there. Listen, find what you can do for them. Yeah. Miss, how can I support your organization? I'd like to know you better. Can I please have your email address? Is it okay to send you an email, right? And exactly. that's another thing. Don't start bombarding people with all your life problems. It's the truth. I know me, I'm like, you are giveaway on Facebook, but I have also <laughs> told people, it's the abrupt thing. Sometimes you read some email and you're like, okay, listen, this is overbearing. Yeah. You've got to stop. Yeah. I have a problem as well. Yeah. I'm a single mother. Yeah. If I'm not projecting to people online, yeah. why are you? What's the pity party for? Yeah. Yeah. Right? But it's a different yeah. thing. Yeah. You're coming to me to say, I have the certification. Please, can you connect with people like Falakwe? If there's an opening in an organization, can I volunteer? And there's another problem. People don't want to serve. <laughs> <laughs> right? Can I volunteer? Yeah. You know, I, my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Can I volunteer? Yeah. Can I support you? Listen. I have gotten connections through volunteering. Um, I volunteer for the Canadian Women's Foundation okay. and it's research volunteering, meaning I'm sweeping online for stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm helping develop concept notes for them to use. I am bringing my skill set on, but I don't care, yeah. right? I'm bringing my, my knowledge from being a fellow at Vital Voices on board mm-hmm. to say, you can be bigger than Toronto. Let's exactly. go all around to the province. I don't need to be seen. Mm-hmm. I have done the work now. That impact, I might not get the right full effect now, but every time I get an email from the vice president, from the president, from the communications manager, I feel good. They yeah. are updating me. Oh, and you're use going through that process. process. Yes. Like, you are yes. valuing up. Yes. <laughs> and, I'm not, and I don't care. My friend was saying, you should start working. I said, no, that is the problem with you people. Every time you so see it, you want to go and run some day. No. <laughs> No, no. There are people no. you because, you, give because 
no matter what I, I like preparing for this conversation, I kept saying, okay, what exactly am I going to talk about that a lot of people haven't heard? Uh -huh. You've read about budget. Uh -huh. You've read about uh -huh. the 50, 20, 20 rule. You've read uh -huh. about, you know, and some people come uh -huh. and say, hey, what, what, what is it again about wealth that we've not really heard? <laughs> what we've not really mastered is the art of, um, um, you know, creating that wealth. Yes. And it is, it is the art of creating it. So, yeah. And creating it is, you know, um, the three types of wealth that I always talk about is financial wealth, mm -hmm. um, relationship wealth, and intellectual wealth. Mm -hmm. Those three are really important. Relationship wealth is the one that we also call um, 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 social capital, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, there will be the douchebags. There will be people that just want to turn you into a trampoline and all of that. Of course, you should, you know, um, be able to... Yeah and take a walk okay mm. but the truth is so interestingly something happened today um mm. i just found i was looking cleaning out the house at the end of year and i found one id card it was the first job that i got when i came to lagos i came to lagos by the way in 2008 i was raised buttered bread in Ijebode, a sleepy town with less than i, I don't even think they are up to one million in Ijebode. you know Ijebode now right mm -hmm. and when i tell people i said that the post and that poster child of all those people that they say, oh, I came with Lake to Lagos, the pulley bag. Yes, I had said this, you know, unashamed. It is my story. And I'm glad for, for all that God had done, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm all, I, I, can, I can understand the struggle of that woman with a tray and everything she's selling is less than, you know, 2,000 Naira. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's feeding a family of four with, you know. So I understand all of these dynamics, and 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 I believe, you know, that if we can, you know, lift a lot more women mm. above the poverty line, mm. because statistically, ninety percent of whatever a woman ends, beg, borrow, steal, and legitimately, you know, traded body for all of that, ninety percent is going back into her home, mm. into her family, mm. right? So why then are we not putting, you know, being lesser focused, you know, on, on, on the women economy? It is, mm -hmm. It's not a gender conversation. It is just yeah. an economic imperative. Absolutely. So, you know, I always believe that. And, you know, like, like I was saying, I was looking through the house and I saw this ID card and it was my first job. The first job I had in Lagos was as a reporter for City People in 2000. Whoa. Yes, for City People. And guess what? Esther... I worked with city people for five full months without getting paid before I got my Amazing. offer letter. Amazing. Five full months. Do you understand? So I was doing stories like, um, um, you know, stories that we do top 100 upscale stores in Ikoi. And in the morning, I'll take a bus from Falomo and, you know, going to stores to stores. And then you enter some stores, they'll say, oh, city people chase them out. Hey, they came to, you know. <laughs> And then the following day, I'll take a bus and stop where I stopped the previous day and probably have to do that for like three days before I finish a story that goes on the paper. So when you talk about the... But people do not see all of that. What people see now is, oh, shall I pay this year? Ash gone to Morocco, paid for. She gone to Kigali, paid for. She gone to Mauritius, paid for. Uh, this is the life I want to live. And then you just want, you know, <laughs> all of that. It's a combination of all of that hard work and every lifting. And even till now, you can ask my my team, I am hands on, you know, I'm sleeves up. If we need to do it, we've got to do it. It doesn't, there's no job that is beneath me, really. There's no brainstorming, there's no thinking that is beneath me. So you've just got to value up. And if you don't realize that you're in a society where the societal constructs, you know, are uh, because as a woman, when you even, you know, enter some particular room, everybody's looking at you, oh, who is bankrolling this one? Who is funding this one? Who is, you know? <laughs> So you realize that you, you've just got to value up twice so mm. that when you, yeah, when you contribute, mm. no mm. one can say, okay, you know, you, you let's clear, clear their doubts. That's just it. Yeah. Clear their doubts. Yeah. And so when they're, when they're considering who should be um, allotted, when they're considering a, a, a allocation, so I'm mm -hmm. talking about wealth opportunities, mm -hmm. there's no way, you can, women can be easily missed. Mm. Mm. You can be easily missed right so you've just got to i mean i i, I can't overstress you know that point to say yeah. you know value yeah. up here yeah, value, value up twice just value yes. up, you know value um, up. <laughs> another thing I'm, I'm taking up from something you just said now is understand the seed people 
understand their seed and their days of investing before you start admiring their harvest time. <laughs> because sometimes you see people online, you think, oh my God, they're boiling, like Shola said. Well, did you, did you ask questions to actually know where they're coming from? I know she went to the same school with me, but I didn't even know she grew up in Ijebode. Now, listen, the average person when you hear Ijebode back then in Angola, God, like you're from Ijebode, you're like, how more? Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you would never project them to now make it in Lagos. Yeah. Because Ijebode yeah. looks like, okay, these are rich people, the elites, a lot of elites people in Ijebode. However, yeah. you might not see them beyond that barrier of Ijebu people. Oh, Ijebu lo tima lo wo, Ijebu lo ma setu si. But for yeah. her to actually pick herself up, you know, and go to Lagos to say, listen, I'm going to make something out of my life. Right? So I'm speaking to the young women here today. I hope that beyond what you came here to learn, you also understand the power of process. Understand the power of process. Be patient with yourself. Be patient. Sometimes it might take 10 years <laughs> to get there. I know it sounds somehow. It's not like your prayer is not being answered. But God would not give you something if he knows you're not prepared for it. Please know Absolutely. that today. That is something that I have come to understand about life. You can pray and pray. Yes, he, he was going to answer, but then he wants to see you prepared. Are you prepared to handle 10 million? You're asking for 10 million. Mm. <laughs> right? So <laughs> thank you so much for me. Let me go into the session. I just wanted to ask you, you know, are there women who you look up to, who inspire you, right? Yeah. Um, probably going to the whole wealth, you know, conversation. Women who are out there, just three of them who inspire you and why? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll say two. So, two, so I, I wish I came with my stack of books, um, the women that I read. Um, I'm currently reading, okay, it's in the car. Um, Ngozi Okonjo Iweala, and I've forgotten the other woman. Women and Leadership. I'm reading that. Um, NY is someone that I really, really look up to. Um, Melinda Gates is an amazing woman who had documented and done a lot in Africa. And I don't think we talk, you know, so much about that. Call it philanthropy. Call it, yeah, call it, um, oh, after all, they've got the money. They can't, they could have as well, you know, decided to <laughs> just buy all the Lamborghini lines mm. that has not even been produced, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, but these people decide to, and she done a lot of work mm -hmm. in Africa, in India, Asia, and all the likes. Mm -hmm. And she's a great storyteller too. I recommend her book, Moment of Lift, mm -hmm. you know, to a lot of people listening to us. Um, oh my God, uh, what, uh, uh, the blue sweater, um, the founder of Acumen, her name just kept mm -hmm. me now. Mm -hmm. Um, she's an amazing, yes, women and leadership. Yes, yeah, she's an amazing woman um, who I really, really look up to. And these are women that are connected to through their books, right? I read a lot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, the, ex, the former founder of PepsiCo, um, Indranoi, oh. is another, you know. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Powerhouse all the Power. way. Powerhouse, love her, love the charisma, love, and these are women that I read, like I'm literally in everything that's about them, right? Uh -huh. And so uh -huh. talking about, you know, women that have actually, you know, empowered, emboldened, supported me, uh -huh. um, especially in a Nigerian context, because uh -huh. trust me, I'm not um, buying that women do not support women thing. Um, have you seen men come at each other before, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. there are badly gifted people everywhere. That's why I tell people, regardless of gender, mm -hmm. you know, just find your own and make sure that you two, you're not one of those people that you're pulling some other people back, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. Mrs. Bukola Smith, she actually wrote the foreword to my book. Um, mm -hmm. She's the MD CEO of FSD. She's an amazing person. Mm -hmm. Nekao Kekaru, she just became the director of Enterprise Development Center, you know, at LBS. And these are amazing powerhouses. And I must not forget um, Professor Lainka David West, who is the dean of school at, you know, um, Pan Atlantic University. These are amazing. You'll be surprised, you know, the conversations that these women will have with you at mm -hmm. home, we work and all of that. And mm -hmm. we, we, I think we, we all need that because the journey yeah. can be very lonely. Mm -hmm. As an African woman who is towing the path of, um, 
you know, um, um, breaking out of societal expectations. Let me tell you some of those expectations. Something mm -hmm. happened recently. It was in mm -hmm. Ijebode, mm -hmm. and we've been trying to put up this, you know, tech academy um, in Ijebu because, mm -hmm. hey, you know, for instance, I've done a lot of projects in Bono, in Joss, and all of that. And whenever I go there, they ask me, oh, are you from here? And every time it sinks, my heart sinks, like, wait a minute, what am I going to do for my... And then I looked around and saw a few people that are quite, you know, um, social in Ijebu that I believe mm -hmm. that they can, you know, we can work together. And I saw mm -hmm. them at events and I, you know, handed out my card to say, hey, my name is so, 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 so I've got. And I thought we were shocked, you know, men openly. I was giving a man my card. That's not something we men do, right? <laughs> You know, so those are the challenges. Those are the issues. Like you're giving me, a, does she want some? Do you understand? Like you can't. Yes. And let me tell you, Esther. This is when I sit and I need to make those conversations, open those conversations, or be at some meetings. There are some meetings that you are there. You know, I ask and I feel like, okay, I won't I be judged? And I ask myself, shall I be? If you were male, would there be any problem? I tell myself, no. So what is it? Do you have what you are? I tell myself, no. So go get it, right? So most of the time, you need these women around you, women who have broken those barriers, walk the same path so that they guide you and help you avoid mistakes along the line. Amazing. Thank you so much, you know, um, for sharing that. I'm going to look out for some of those books. Um, I've not done well with reading books this year because I always said, when you're a writer, <laughs> Sometimes the head is clogged. I was yes. telling someone the other day, I said, in the last few months, I've been experiencing writer's block. And That's one way I've gotten inspiration is to just go back online and read my past interviews, right? Okay. And sometimes I just take strength from all that and say, okay, you know what, girl, take a break. It's mm -hmm. okay. Right. No, mm -hmm. but I'm going to check out the, the books that you mentioned. Okay. Um, okay. Another question that I want to ask you you know, for young women who are listening, is that um, what inspired you to write a book on wealth creation? Yeah. I have seen a lot of wealth creation, you know, coaches, I've read stuff online, but for me, it's a big deal, to be honest with you, when not just the Nigerian, but a black woman is talking about it's what Oprah Winfrey is that you know those sort of women because they are, they are daring to be different to say I want to share this you know because the name you know people say how much you don't have now she don't have now. <laughs> <laughs> so just to you know let people understand that you know the concept yeah. of wealth creation what inspired you yeah. to write the book that's yeah. one then the second question is the name the part where you said that it's strict we're going to come to that but then please answer the first question okay thank you so you know with harvest we had created a beautiful tool um you know built a lot of a lot of infrastructure okay. in some cases we have to partner with existing infrastructure um the mobile app the web app you go okay. to our website now I think my colleagues dropped the website. You go to Insights, you see tons of articles and insights, you know, for women to read all of this for free. Um, you can save, you can impact invest. And then, of course, we were giving extending credits to, you know, um, women, especially women in rural areas. And then I was, of course, having conversations, and I'll go on some stages and have conversations to let people know how bad the wealth gap is, um, okay. how bad even income inequality is, and, you know, all of those. And I would get questions like, Shalakwe, thank you so much. This is quite insightful. Like, so most of the time, when I have those conversations, by the time I finish, people are stoned. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, they are just like this. They cannot clap. I'll be like, hey, have I done poorly? And I'll say, what? They'll say, no, like, we're just reflecting. This is deep, <laughs> right? So I, have, I get questions like, okay, so how then do we change the narrative from here? Because, again, those conversations I did, you know, were to uncover on earth a lot of biases that they didn't even realize, you know, I said, oh, so how do we proceed from here? And then that would have to lead into another conversation that cannot be wrapped up in one hour, not in two hours. Because again, personal finance is a personal journey. Mm -hmm. 
That's why it's personal finance. It's not group finance. What will work for you towards your path to creating wealth is not what would exactly work for me. What if I tell you that my um, um, financial DNA, my, my, my money personality is that of a spender? Do you understand? You know, mm. I'm, a, I'm a spender. I'm not even a natural saver. And so if you are telling me that uh, you just have to do 50, 20, 20 with what you are making and everything. And I love the, I like the soft life. I like the baby girl life. I want to, do you understand? <laughs> and then there's another person who is just a saver, who is able to just naturally save more and we're on the same. So definitely for me, I want to live within my means. But then what that means is that I have to, you know, expand, like I have to not just double up like maybe 10 times my my, my streams of income and that has was that helped me there was mm. never a time in my life that i had one job right mm. so i shared these stories in public spaces even while i was head of marketing i had stores physical stores i i i had i would buy um, um 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 palm oil when the prices are low i will warehouse them i'll sell when they go high i'll travel i'll buy baby wears you know i was doing all of that so mm. If you just say you must save, it is um, 50, 30, 20. You are carrying 50, 30, 20 to everybody as if it's a rule. At least it is, you know, it would not just work. So you yeah. have to realize all of this. And that is everything I poured into this book about yeah. first of finding, you know, um, your, what's your financial DNA, what's your money personality, how it affects people that you, you know, end up with for People who choose to get coupled up, most of the time, the opposites do attract. And that's why you find out that finance is one of the reasons why a lot of couples are breaking up, yes. right? Because a, a saver, you know, ends up with a spender and then they just can't figure things out. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's important mm -hmm. to have these conversations, the biases that has held us back. And so the book in itself is, you know, in three parts and it focuses on wealth creation and growth wealth preservation and wealth transfer and that's why we're talking about generational wealth because you can create and grow all the wealth i don't want to mention names there are top families that if i mention their names these are poster names that we all know and they were not able to transfer the wealth huge huge wealth onto the next generation because of some challenges because mm -hmm. some of some mistakes if i ask us on this call how many people have written their will a lot of people might just log off mm. Like, why is she discussing will? Will, 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 how? I don't want that. Is she, what, is she wishing death on me? Do you understand? Right? But do you know that you can even will assets that you have not owned? Mm hmm mm. You won't own an asset, but you can, you know, say, excuse me, that for my future asset, this is how I want to share it. A should take mm -hmm. 10%, B should take this. Mm -hmm. is, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we have so many wealth trapped in banks, <laughs> trapped in financial houses, and their families are just there. I worked with the financial firm. We had to do set up a probate desk so that we could be helping people assess their loved ones or their departed ones, you mm. know, um, wealth. Mm. Pension, how are you adopting it? Insurance, how are you adopting it? Mm. Insurance, we still say God forbid, and all of that. And so these are the things that, you know, are very contained in this, um, you know, in this 142 page guide a lot of people had read in a day in two days they said you know what um this is head popping it's conversational you think you know just the way i'm talking to you that's how you read this book and that is it because um again when you talk about so for someone who had worked in a wealth and asset management firm uh -huh. um so when we talk about financial assets or financial inclusion mostly we talk about basic banking and banking is good right uh -huh. It okay. gives you the first layer to, you uh -huh. know, having digitizing, um, uh -huh. having a financial footprint that can be assessed. Then you get loans if you are you meet the requirements. But it does it just doesn't stop there. There are uh -huh. other layers, and those are the layers that actually helps you grow and make wealth. Uh -huh. Banking is mostly uh -huh. transactional. Do you understand? So people need yes. to understand it. And because I'd worked at, those, at the levels where it was wealth making, and I realized that in that sphere, in that sphere, Esther is men, now men, they run now. Yes. From yes. board to participation, now men, they run now. Do you I, understand? So you yes. go and look at the wealth and asset management thing. Men at the board. Look I mean, at your I'm investment. How many female billionaires we have in the world? Thank you.
Thank you. Oprah and, and um, Allah, Miss Alakita, they, yeah. and you know the other people who are only mentioned silently yeah. are the only black women that we that's, you know uh, get together. Exactly. The truth yeah. is, I feel there's a barrier when it comes to you know wealth acquisition, and you said it all as it relates to women. So yeah, I, I you know I'm. And during you know the breakdown, <laughs> you know, there is it's contained here. Mm. You have less than twelve percent. This is it. Mm. This is it. this is the proportion male mm. to female. It's almost half. But then when you look at the billionaires, you see right? Oh my god! You god. see? Look at the gap. This is proportion. And then they are saying oh that god. there's no trouble. Why are they talking? About? They're saying why are they talking about financial inclusion and then you know for mm. women? Mm -hmm. These are the issues, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. And that is, those are the reasons why, you know, you know, we've got to look at an African woman's guide towards building generational wealth. I've mm -hmm. had men read this book and said, Sharaka, why did you say it's for African women? He helped me. I said, exactly. Mm -hmm. Whatever will help an African woman. I'd gone miles ahead, you know, not just to help that woman, but it, 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 it definitely would help a man or whoever picks that book. But it mm -hmm. has, it went deeper into the deeper issues, you know, that affect women, and then it helps. Um, the other okay. question, which is strict, you know, like yes. everything, before you get to its core, you have to mm. strip it, mm. right? And that mm -hmm. was exactly what this book did. It okay. went as far back into us history as Africans, as mm -hmm. African women, mm -hmm. the kind of units we operated mm -hmm. pre-colonial mm -hmm. um, era. Into you know, so we we actually stripped issues, and you know, like I showed you what you just said, we have in the, if evidenced all of that, and said mm -hmm. now you want to create wealth. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's start. It mm -hmm. practically so mm -hmm. it's actually stripped. You know, different layers to get to the core to ensure that African women can live wholly and fully to their potentials. Yeah, um, the Jomi Foods. Um, yes, really, we should read the book. It's a wise investment. I said it at the beginning of the show. It's 7,500. Um, the, you know, averest um, person in the comment has been sharing links to it. If you want to get it, I believe it's also, you know, in your bio, Shola, is it? Yes, that's my, it's yeah. in my bio, yes. Yes, so please go on um, Shalako's wall and click the link in the bio. Believe me, like I said, I'm going to be buying it for people in my circle. Now that I've spoken to Shola, I'm more than convinced on why I should even buy it. Because you see, this morning, we will not be using mouth to no, call no. it. Yeah? yeah. And the idea that, you know, there are people who are only destined to be rich, that's mm. a bad thing. You know, a bad mentality that is holding a lot of people back because yeah. you have so much you can make money from but you can't just see it because you are looking at other people exactly. <laughs> so what this book is going to do is to force you to look at yourself exactly look at yourself stop looking at other people mm -hmm. know your value like Shola said value of meaning what do i have put it on the table yeah. so as you are reading you are writing out nuggets i am going to write my review of the book yeah. so you guys should look out for that as well you see so you see how you know it's like value-based investing the questions that you ask yourself yes. the values you have the values you know so it's value-based and that's why um yes. you know i can go on. i'm not i'm not exactly salesy which is something that i have to learn <laughs> right yeah, not <laughs> I'm not exactly and that's why I, I put a lot into whatever I do, organizations yeah, I do, and all yeah, of that. Like that. I feel like it would, it would sell itself, but you know, I know that I need to sell more. So if I can go on and on to say that this is a magic pill, it's a confidence booster, mm -hmm. you know, for mm -hmm. everyone who's on the pathway, you know, mm -hmm. to go in generational wealth. It can go mm -hmm. on, it's with personal medicine, it can go on in your handbag. It's something that you constantly have to refer to, and trust yeah. me. Yeah. Um, it will do wonders. I want to see you. I want to run into you. I want to read mails, read see you, my dear my session yes. that way. I read that book and it's then back. you know uh, it changed a lot for me. Yes, and for those who will be watching this on YouTube, um, if you're not following me yet, um, because this you know session is going to be on my YouTube channel at SIJ4. So for those of you who are gonna watch on YouTube, you've heard what Shalakwe said. So you're not just buying, reach out to her when you buy. And you've read the book. Yes. Let her know that is the beauty of being an author. When yes. people are giving you feedback to but, say, "Oh my God, yes. I, you know, yeah, I bought your book, and this was what I learned, and this was the way I used it." So, three months down the line, first quarter of 2023, challenge yourself, right? Reach your language.
Facebook, look inward, check yourself out. What are your excesses? Yeah. How can you, you know, come on the table and say, these are the things I'm going to stop. I need to start saving. Yeah. So I am going to write my own review. Like I said, I am going to read and I'm going to share with my daughters because in my house, everybody must make money. Yes, and they so. Know. <laughs> yes so. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't come this life to pay bills alone. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> so everybody must make money. So I'm going to be sharing with my daughter. So Shola, but just before we go, um, what are the plans for the book? I know you've launched the book. Um, are there going to be town hall meetings? Would you be speaking at events um, for women? Yeah. March, for example, is International Women's Day. Is there anything centered around that? Knowing fully well that this book and the name, you know, of course, speaks to women. Is there anything at all that you know you would love for us to be part of? Um, absolutely. Um, we are planning an African book tour and, you know, that will kickstart okay. once it's January. Okay. Interestingly, we have more copies selling on Amazon from international buyers. I'm glad you know, it's quite, Yes, 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 yes. Um, on the continent, we have more purchases from South Africa. Oh. Um, you know, and that's what I'm just saying. My Nigerian sisters, what's happening, right? <laughs> or is this a classic case of a prophet, you know, does not have annoying? <laughs> but you know, again, when, when we had that conversation, um, um, and, you know, you told me, I was going to tell you that one thing that I've learned, you know, from my, let me give you an overview of my blog analytics. <clears throat> okay. Recently, I've blog started picking up a lot because, you know, now, you know, I've learned SEO. Mm. So some of those contents, you know, you, you find it on international platforms. And I see the sources of where, you know, the readership, you know, it's coming from. Yeah. Now, while Nigeria is at the top, like, yeah. <laughs> aside from the U.S. and the Canada, we, it's followed closely by China. Now, listen, hmm. I'm asking myself, what are Chinese looking for my blog? <laughs> like, for real? And the, the proximity. Like the margin is so close to Canada, meaning they are reading the, like every other, and then I'll check content as well. They're like, you know, okay, let me just check. And you see China again, top four. So that made me realize one thing. People who are outside of our environment and circle, they are more yeah. curious about our success. They, they, they are in a good way. Yeah. But you see, the see finish where you are domiciled sometimes yeah some of them are not waiting. it is when they will ask other people talk about the book now they say ah let me buy a copy too, so i can write the review but the first thing is <laughs> there is somebody in this in south africa like you said there's somebody in uganda rwanda ethiopia yeah. that will yeah. grab that copy of that book and you'll be surprised at what they would do in five years yeah. and when they stand on a terrace stage yeah. they would make reference to say i am going to recommend Ab this book because this is a Nigerian author. When I bought this book, I didn't realize what it was going to do to me. And I'm saying this to you, Shola, prepare for those moments, right? Mm -hmm. It is just the beginning. Yeah. You've just launched mm -hmm. and the world has accepted it. So just yeah. wait for the momentum. Yeah. You know, you've not yeah. seen anything yeah. yet. We can't wait. And we not, can't wait. I know there are people here too that will buy. So yeah, you guys, not just buying. Like I said, I want to see some of you also come to me to say, Esther, can yeah. you put the review of this book on your blog? Yes. So I'm putting this out there. Let me do this. If if you buy Shalak Facebook and you can share the nuggets you learn, not to go and copy you and paste to and come and send me something on the as me, I will know. I'm a media girl. I know how to look for keywords. <laughs> so, so if you share, I am going to support one woman here. I'm saying this live with three people in 2023. That is huge. But I'm going to do it. Meaning you'll be featured in Guardian, you'll be featured Thank in Vanguard, you. and this thing. So all you need to do, your investment is seven five to get that value of what I'm giving. I want somebody to come back in 2023 and say, this was what I learned. And you are giving me highlights of what you learned. Okay. And I'm going to post your review on the blog. So you take this. This is my giveaway to those who joined today. Shalakwe is worth more than that. Thank right? You so so we want to encourage you people. It is not a closed circle of people who don't want other people to no go. Way. She's saying this is a gift, right? And the mentality that you got to wait for someone else to buy something before you buy or you want to copy something else from someone else, let's stop this no. in 2023. Mm -hmm. Because this is a guide. It's a guide that you need to, you know, um, um, someone says you need an autograph. 
Okay. She needed to autograph her oh. book. Sorry to cut you. Lovely. Okay. Oh, you need it. Oh, for me. <laughs> for me is my friend. Yeah, for me, of course. I'll get you your copy. Um, yeah, autographed. <laughs> of course, <laughs> sure. With roommates, with roommate, roommates copy too. And uh, for me, said we buy mostly in the physical store. It's available in Roving Heights, and then okay. we are circulating across other. So Roving Heights is the, here okay. at Landmark. They are in Abuja, you know, as okay. well. So uh, we are circulating across other bookstores as well. Okay. But trust okay. me, um, you, it's a book that you certainly need to read and like i okay. always say when you read the book you're going to get activated i need to activate that world's journey make sure right. that you do it with harvest um the book is because when we talk about harvest people say oh so where do i start i need to learn more so yes you learn with this and then okay. once you've oh. learned enough me, you, your me. Oh, me, you, you see what i'm saying Campaign. Oh, bless your your people will not wait for campaign. I know before they elect you. <laughs> Thank you. That's the spirit. God then bless you. This is what I love to see. Bless your heart. Well done, well done. That's beautiful to see. I mean, and you know, Sholakwe needs all the encouragement. Please. Thank you. So and like much, she said at the beginning, you know, something I took out from what Sholakwe said: when you see power women who have achieved a lot, don't assume there is nothing you can do for them. Please. Squash yeah. that mentality. A lot yeah. of people do that. Yeah. You see somebody yeah. who is country manager, um, comms manager, this, uh, and there's a no. Believe me, no. what you are offering might be something they are missing. And you bring them a school to them. It's, it's profound, though. Um, I think it was three weeks back. I was just on my phone. I was transiting. It was quite hectic, catching up with work mm -hmm. from home. And then I saw this um, a, a, a high-profile person. If I mention everyone on this call, we know the name. And then she announced the project. And I just felt led to say, congratulations, how can I help? And when I said, how can I help? Trust me, in short, mentally, I was like, she can't need my help possibly. She just say, oh, Shalapi, thank you so much. She said, oh, how can you help? I need this. I need that. And there are areas I can help with, right? And, you know, I felt so good. And she said, she typed, she said, you know, I really do appreciate this because a lot of times people do not understand how mm. much help and support that we do need. Yeah. And she'd been, you know, going on and on about it. And because it's, you know, an area in marketing that I'm very happy to support with as well, Popo, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, hey, just counting done and we've been moving, doing the heavy lifting. So don't mm -hmm. just assume. Um, yes. My friend, I, I prefer to ask twice now, Bukola would say, you know, at times, you, you, there's no nothing to support like like their post comment share it it doesn't cost you anything after all you've bought the data the phone is yours do you understand yes. <laughs> i think you see some yes. people that you know you just realize that this is a particular handle that keeps supporting sharing routine and then you feel connected to them and they've not exactly yes. gone out of their way to do anything so yes. it could be that basic that mundane yes. before you even you know i um, started harvest i know that a few of my friends will say Shinaku, you are dropping your likes on everything i say ah it they bite it they drain battery it doesn't hurt right whatever i align with that aligns with my value yes. you know i just drop my support however little way i can and trust me it's a lot of heavy lifting forget the you know showing up and all of that there's a lot of heavy lifting a lot of people yes. are actually going through so always inquire and yes. see and that's how to that's build great. strong relationships and strong um mm -hmm. um um relationship investments Call we are said mm. at the beginning that there's relationship investment. It is stronger than capital investment. Mm -hmm. You can have all the money in the world and it gets drained once because you don't have enough or you don't have quality people in your network, right? Mm. So it is mm. quality people, powerful. As a matter of fact, you know, that's one area that I'm also personally working on. So if there's any other person here of the life, sometimes you know, we need to let people know that they're not alone. Um sometimes you know, a lot of us when we are I'm the light of the party girl from Osu, that's the way I've always been. But then the past couple of years, something tweaked in my life, and then I became withdrawn from just being that person that, you know, you go to bed and I'm, I would rather sit and watch. Yeah. But then I'm unlearning that, that this thing, girl, you need people. And everybody needs people. So I'm also taking it as a responsibility in 2023. That relationship yeah. investment, I have, people will see me like, yes, I know I have good people like Sholakbe and other people that I can always slide in their DM. Yeah. 
but sometimes there are other relationships so that you are aligned with relationships like Sholakbe yeah. to you know to make a solid foundation of something bigger. Yeah. So and that's where I'm coming from, right? That collaboration, that okay. support. When you need support from a system and people are rallying around you, you're not yeah. stressing. Mm -mm. You know, so build that, and you cannot build that with a selfish mindset. Mm -hmm. Let me put this mm -hmm. out there: mm -hmm. you cannot build that with a user mm -hmm. mentality or a transaction. Those of you that want to come and be using people, you go into people's comments, start advertising your products, unprovoked. <laughs> <laughs> you, and for real, you see people with high mm -hmm. engagement. You are not supporting their brand, but you are looking out to take from them. Yes, those things. You think people don't notice? People notice. People notice stuff, and the moment people know you are a user, they might not want to align with you, and then your name will be mentioned at the table, and you're wondering why you're not getting that opportunity. Because somebody mm -hmm. would say, that one, the only way she knows the same way she can't advertise her product. she never buy from me one day. She will never like my comments. She will never drop any other comments than to advertise or to drop nasty comments. So, Shola, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Just before we thank go, you. I wanted to just you know, share a positive thought, you know, against 2023. For young women who are here today, who have listened to you, something profound for them to take home with and believe in themselves. Yeah, um, I think I'd mentioned that and it is what I would leave with. Um, to okay. thine own self be true. Mm -hmm. um, wherever mm -hmm. the gaps are, you know, if this conversation mm -hmm. I'll be able to illuminate such areas for you or bring them to fore, I'll say congratulations. It could either be, you know, in relationship wealth mm -hmm. um, or intellectual wealth, which we have said that those two significantly contribute to your financial wealth. Um, mm -hmm. Look through and value upon those areas. Mm -hmm. um, it is not enough to say that it's because I'm a woman, that's why, or I've heard people say, oh, imagine my boss, eh, she's keeping me at work and she's a woman, no. And you are a woman, she, she's at work, she, she's a woman. Because you're a woman, she should stay at work. I say you should go, you should go. The work is the work. It is not a, it's not a gender race here, right? So mm -hmm. um, by all means, let's um, significantly um, value up on our relationships um, mm -hmm. in a way that we've said, you know, not in a transactional way or in a selfish mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. most importantly, in an intellectual way. We have said mm -hmm. that the biases are stacked against you via societal construct, um, okay. cultural, religion in some cases, and you're just expected okay. to be seen and not heard. Okay. Um, but they are, <laughs> you know, it just reminded me, even at my last workplace, when we're having management meeting and they're on this that I just want to listen, the MD would say, Shalaku, you've not spoken. I need, we need to hear from you right it was mm -hmm. not so so you you've got it has got to be you when they will say you know what um we've not heard mm -hmm. this this meeting cannot be over because this person mm -hmm. hasn't spoken right it's not a matter of you are male or female mm -hmm. and the only way you can is also by being you know profound in thought in understanding and areas where you do not know um don't just admit mm -hmm. that i do not know but go on to fill those spots and guess again it mm -hmm. is true people that you relate with through your network that you can fill on those spots people you can go to and say yes, that this one i don't understand explain and break it down to me so please prioritize two things as you go into the new year and value up on your relationship um capital and um, um you know your intellectual capital it is important amazing. amazing thank you so much you guys if there's anything i want you to go on my facebook page and tell me what you learned value up value up let me see it in my comments yeah. on instagram yeah. let's blow it up value up right that's that, the word yeah. for 2023 yeah. I'm, I'm also taking that out of this session and i'm going to roll with it i'm going to use it as my own personal assessment yeah. on how to value up right so thank you so much Olapwe, for your time yeah, Hopefully, you. we'll be able to do this on Facebook yeah, um, sure. in the new year yeah, um, right. to get to, you know, a wide audience. And, of course, you know, of course, let them know the importance of building generational worlds. And yeah. then to everyone, I wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> and, of course, a Happy New Year in advance. God bless you for joining um, for the session. If you want to watch again, it's on my, it's going to be on my YouTube channel at Esther Ijewere 4 kindly you know go on my youtube channel by tomorrow it's gonna be there you can watch it and share thank you once again god thank bless you, you. Um, yeah and then and get I copies guess. of street from my yes. bio link do not forget go to <laughs> bio um 
uh, you know, Instagram bio, click on the bio, 75 is a wise investment. I repeat, it is a wise investment. So go on a bio and grab a copy. If you want a physical copy, you want to go into the store to get it yourself, you know, I'm sure you're going to get information from a bio as well. And actually, it's on Amazon, that's why I'm going to Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Which you so can find on my address bio. Too, so follow well. Address NG. Okay, so, so follow Address NG, follow Sholakbe Akinfelu, and go on any of the bios, you know, for you to be able to buy the book. Thank I hope I got that right. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much, Esther. Beautiful conversation. Thank Very you, sis. Much. Thank you for, for coming. I'll see you in the new year. My God, that's grace. Bye, everyone. Right. Thank you for joining us. Bye. 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 Have a good one. Peace.